guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna. If you're new here, make sure you like and subscribe below so that you never miss a video going forward. I make a lot of workout videos, vlogs, and hopefully I'm gonna start doing more favorites videos like this and I have a couple potential Amazon hauls coming, but we'll see how that goes. Today we are doing a favorites video. This is kind of like a summer favorites, things I've been liking for a few months now that I've been using pretty religiously and I wanted to share them with you. I'm gonna call this video probably something like summer favorites, but it doesn't necessarily all have to do with summer stuff, just stuff I've been liking throughout the summer. So we've got some things like some clothing, we've got a little bit of like food and protein type stuff, and some of my favorite like running shoes and workout shoes and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna show you guys my most recent like skincare routine that has really helped me like get my face under control, especially coming out from wearing masks. And I, if you guys remember back to my vlogs, I just had so many bad breakouts and I think I finally figured out something that kind of works for me and has helped me out a ton. So I'm gonna go over all that stuff. I have a ton of stuff to get into and I don't want this video to be too, too long. So we're gonna get right into it without further ado, my summer favorites. Right off the bat, I'm gonna get into my favorite sunglasses that I have been wearing nonstop. And the best part about it, I feel like everybody's been talking about these because they're from Amazon and they are so, so cheap. So everything that I have or that I'm able to find online, I will link below. I got this pair and then a solid black pair as well too for like $16, so they were very reasonable. I think they're super cute. They have another pair that is super thin, extremely thin, and they're very in, but I just don't feel like they fit my face. These ones, I feel like fit my face pretty well and they also make me feel like I'm a little bit more put together and I just love them. I think they're great, especially being in Colorado, it's been so sunny and my eyes are so sensitive to the bright light. It's the weirdest thing, but every time I go outside and it's extremely bright, I sneeze. So my eyes are so sensitive that I um, take my sunglasses with me everywhere. The second thing I've been loving all summer long, and I have literally been wearing these all summer long for the past several months, and I'm actually wearing it right now, I have a ton of tank tops. And I know you've seen the basic one, this is the Free People tank that everybody is wearing, and I have tons of those. I have, I mean, stuff, more of them are in the wash, but right here I have four. They're all that very classic strap tank that is so cute, it's the ribbed material. I love the ribbed material because it kind of sucks you in a little bit, makes you feel a little bit supported, and for me, I don't have a lot going on up, up here, so I'm able to wear these without a bra, which I love. Anything that I'm able to get away with without a bra, I'm on board for. So these ones are the Free People tanks. These tanks are a part of their in movement collection, so they are like a part of their fitness or workout line. I love these, I can't get enough of these, and they're relatively cheap, I think they're like $30 um, per tank. And I'm lucky and fortunate that one of the employers I work for gets a big discount at Free People and gives it to us, so I've been able to score these for even cheaper than that, but I feel like 30 really isn't that bad especially because if these were at like Lulu or something like that, you'd probably be paying close to $60. So I have a ton of these. The other tanks that I've been wearing are a little bit more underrated and I'm actually wearing it right now. These tanks are from Athleta. They're the same, like not the same material, but they're still ribbed. They're honestly, I think a little bit more compressive than the Free People ones and they come in so many cute colors. I am wearing it in white right now that you can see. I have it in blue, I have it in orange, I have a black one that I'm washing, and I just rotate these throughout my workouts. Like when I go to Orange Theory and work out, I'm wearing my Free People tank or I'm wearing these on just rotation. I've gotten this tank more recently, but I have been rotating through it. I haven't found a way to wear it without a bra yet. Um, I don't think I will, <laughs> but I've been wearing this one. This one's from Skims, and it is not a ribbed material, but it is extremely comfortable, soft, cozy, and I feel like I'll be able to transition this tank into fall with me because it's it's that just like really pretty, almost like a rosy brown color. I don't know how else to explain it, but um, I love it. So this will probably carry through to fall with me, and I'm excited about that. Another recent obsession for me, and I kind of mentioned it in my last vlog, I have been ordering sports bras from Allo Yoga like crazy lately. I just love their sports bras, they're so cute, they're so trendy, they have a, some really pretty colors that I just love, and so I am gonna show you guys a couple of the sports bras that I've been wearing nonstop from Allo Yoga. I wear these when I teach spin. So here's one of them. 
Another one, you guys have probably seen these in my vlogs. This one right here, I love this one. Super, um, this one's super supportive and comes up high, so I don't feel like I'm, when I'm like leaning forward riding a bike, I don't feel like too much is showing, even though I don't have a lot to show. I just still like to be covered up. So this one's been great. I also have another one in pink. I have this one in like a like a mustard color too. I really like this sports bra and then another simple favorite from Aloe. A lot of these are sold out now and they're constantly rotating through new sports bras. They get, I think, new drops every week or every couple weeks. So I'm always checking their website. And the last vlog, this one will probably go up before the vlog I just filmed, but two vlogs ago, I, I don't know, you guys check check my last one, but I am doing an Alo Yoga giveaway, two $25 gift cards, so make sure you check that out and enter. I will be announcing that in one of my recent vlogs. I'm just not sure when this video will go up compared to the ones that I just filmed. This one might go up first, I'm not sure, but check those and um, you can enter to win $25 gift card to Alo Yoga. So you'll probably get these about half off because I think they're around like 50 or 60 bucks. So very helpful. Going along with the aloe yoga stuff though, I have been loving getting aloe yoga matching sets. So what I mean by that is I buy the sports bra and then I <laughs> love buying a pair of leggings in the same color. So I have these pink ones. I wore these for my birthday in May, my birthday ride. And I, I just love the color. I also have like a matching yellow set. And then because I thought this sports bra color was so cute, I also got a pair of biker shorts in pink. I have a pair of yellow biker shorts just like this in the mail coming to me. So check their website. They have so many cute colors in their biker shorts. You can pair them with the sports bras. You can pretty much get any pair of leggings in the same color as the sports bras. They have so many good matching sets. So definitely a favorite right now. I felt like this one needed its own like spotlight. This is another Ali Yoga sports bra, but this one has been my all-time favorite sports bra. I cannot get enough of this. I love the yellow. Yellow is my favorite color, but I also love the one shoulder. It stays up really well on me. I mean, I, I'm only speaking for people who are like A, B size, but so comfy, so cute, very trendy. I get so many compliments on this when I wear it, and this color is just everything for me. Definitely my favorite sports bra I have ever owned, and I will get plenty of wear out of this. So I think this is still on their website too. You guys, I, I didn't mention earlier, but I do have a discount code for Aloe Yoga. I get to give you guys 10% off, so make sure you use the link below when you're purchasing any of these so you can get that 10% off, and then also potentially if you win the $25 gift card, the chances are pretty slim because you have to comment on my last video, and I think I had maybe like, 14 people comment, so not a ton. So your chances are very high to win one of the two $25 gift cards. So go tr enter that. If not, use the 10% off code linked below. Okay, so we're getting through all the clothes that I had to show you guys. I feel like I have to make a shout out to Skims. It took me a while to jump on board with Skims because I I don't like just ordering things online that I haven't tried on. It's, it's a little bit scary for me because I just like to try everything on before I buy it and make sure it fits me well, I like it, but I did take the leap and I ordered some skims and these by far, it, just so good. Everything that I ordered from skims I actually love and you guys again would have seen that in like a vlog beforehand but I pretty much vlog everything that I'm showing but I have been wearing these around the house, this cute little bralette with the matching set right here. I wanted to get it in white but it was sold out so I wasn't able to get my hands on the white one so I did buy this like sage green and I love it, it's so comfy. I just wear these and then like an oversized t-shirt over this and just lounge around the house in it. I also ordered one of their bralettes that I can't find, it's in my dirty laundry somewhere. But it is so comfy, especially have like a smaller chest up top. There's no underwire and I just wear it with everything. It's so flattering, so cute, so comfy. And I'm somebody who, I don't like wearing bras. I hate wearing bras. So anytime I find something that's really comfy, I gravitate. I gravitate towards it so definitely skims was a win for me I love it I'm probably gonna place another order here soon I feel like I have to make a shout out to Poshmark because recently I've been buying so many things off Poshmark and they have just been saving me a lot of money you know what I mean so if you buy something 
used secondhand, you're not paying the full price, but you can find really good quality stuff on there. You can also find things that are gently used. And the first thing I want to mention is I purchased this like little red bikini set. It is so cute and so flattering. I didn't think it would fit me because I, I bought it in an extra small. It was very risky. I don't wear extra small, but it is so flattering on me. And because it's a little bit smaller, it kind of like gives me a little bit of cleavage, which I love. This is the Kendall and Kylie bikini. I'm honestly not sure where they got this because I purchased it off Poshmark, but the bottoms, so cute, most flattering cut, love it. And then while I'm wearing this to the pool, our neighborhood pool, I also will throw this white button up that I purchased from Lulu at the outlets over the top. It's just the cutest swim cover up and I get so many compliments when I wear this combo together, the red bikini and this white button up. Okay, almost done with the clothes here. I've got one more thing and then we'll move on to like accessories, I guess. But I just, I feel like I had to make a shout out to all of the band tees that I've been wearing this summer. I feel like everybody's been wearing them. It's been, been very trendy, very in. And I just have like this huge stack. I have so many more in my closet. But all of these came from either Nordstrom, Urban. I got, yeah, honestly, Nord Nordstrom and Urban. That's where they all came from. So I have like Def Leppard. I have this cute tiger t-shirt you've probably seen this graphic this one's from urban this one was from nordstrom i got this one from urban too which this one has been my recent obsession like a concert tee it has where he had all his concerts at on the back but i love yellow as you guys know so this t-shirt has just been so cute i've been throwing it on over my swimsuits i've been wearing it around the house to lounge in i even wear it out to like brunch with friends i don't care oversized t-shirts are my favorite thing and then I purchased this one at Nordstrom recently, but I also make my own like oversized crop t-shirts. I throw these on over my sports bra when I go teach at spin or whatever. This one's from Topshop. This one's a really cute color. I meant to grab the other ones that I've made, but I've gone to places like Hobby Lobby and purchased a t-shirt for like eight bucks. They have the comfort color ones, the like really comfy soft, they get better after you wash them at Hobby Lobby and I just, cut it where I want the length to be. You could even use one that you already have cut and lay this over the top and cut it at the right length. So I have one in, in black, white, and gray that I made from a Comfort Colors t-shirt and I wear them all the time too. As you can see, I like find something that I love and I buy it in every single color, which you will see here in a second. So like I said, I buy something in every single color when I find it and I like it, but I got these three hats these three bucket hats from Forever 21, and I've been wearing this black one probably the most, but I have them in green and pink as well. This one just kind of goes with everything, and I think it is so cute. <laughs> you can wear it to the pool, you can wear it out to brunch with your friends, you can just throw it on anytime when you have, you know, three day old hair, or whatever you're trying to cover up. I love these, I think they're so cute. These ones are so summery, and, um, I'm absolutely obsessed. They have the cutest little embroidered flowers on them, if you can see that. And they were extremely cheap, you guys. These were like 11 or 12 bucks each. So going along the lines of hats, hair, covering up bad hair days, whatever, I have two hats that I've been wearing on repeat. I love both of these. They're from Urban Outfitters. I picked up this LA one and I started wearing it so much that I ended up going back and buying this New York Yankees one. I don't wear this one as much as I wear this one. I just love the color of this one. It's it's like my favorite right now. I feel like it, I just wear it with everything. I don't, I don't care if it even matches or not, but I love this hat. This one I've worn quite, quite a bit too, but definitely this one has been my go-to for summer and for the past few months. Love it. Okay, last thing about hair. Actually, that's a lie. We've got one more thing after this, but that'll come later. Um, so I've been wearing, just like everybody else, these claw clips. I haven't gotten crazy with like the fancy claw clips. I'm keeping it pretty simple. I have a brown one, a black one, and then this like cute trendy color. This one's from Urban, and this one is from like Target or something like that. I have a brown one from Target that I wear. I did break one of the claws off. Very unfortunate, but I've been wearing these non-stop, how everybody just like takes their hair, rolls it up, and uh, 
just places the clip in. It's so easy and it, I feel like it dresses up any outfit. I wear it all the time. I wear this, I just wore this to church today. So I love these. I love the color of this mint green and um, these black ones I wear when I'm shooting weddings. They're just very neutral, simple. So love these, especially for summer. Probably will take these into fall with me too. I'm hoping that these just kind of keep on going because they're so easy and simple. And then of course my scrunchies. If I'm not wearing those claw clips, I am using my scrunchies. I never use like regular hair ties on my hair anymore unless I am doing like the power pony when I'm teaching class, just because those stay up so well and they keep my hair from all tangled and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm throwing my hair up in a bun with these. I'm throwing my hair up in a pony with these, a low bun, whatever. This is what I'm using. These are from Lululemon. I got these from the outlet too. I live like a couple minutes from the outlet. So it's really easy for me to go over to the Lululemon outlet on my free time and check out things. That's why I have a lot of stuff from the outlet. But um, I picked up a ton of these and they were, after my discount, they were like 250 each. So I have a ton of these Lululemon scrunchies. Moving on to like bags. I'm gonna show you guys two bags. They're both from Lululemon. You guys are gonna think I all I do is Lululemon, but um, because I live by the outlets, like I said, I, I get a lot of their stuff on sale. Plus I get an instructor discount, which is amazing. I'm very thankful for that because I think Lululemon stuff is a little bit overpriced, maybe a lot overpriced. Um, I've been using their City Adventure backpack. I had it in green for years and years and years, and I just kind of, I get sick of color. I always gravitate back to neutrals, and so I sold the green one on Posh, and then I ended up buying this black one on Posh instead. It was very gently used, and um, I've been using this a ton because I will run to go teach a class and then I have to be at, so I'll teach a couple classes at Orange Theory and then a few hour break and I'll have to teach a couple classes at Cycle Bar. So that couple hour break, I'll throw my laptop in here, some snacks, whatever I need to get me through and I'll just hang out in DTC until I teach that later class. So this has been great to get all my stuff around. Secondly, another bag. This one is another bag that I've been using for several years now, but I have recently pulled it back out and started using it again this summer. It's just a tiny bag from Lululemon. I got this on sale as well. I think it was like, I think I got it for like 30 bucks after my discount and after the sale they were running on it, but it's just, it's just a tiny little bag. It's the perfect amount of space to fit my wallet, my phone, my keys, and maybe some chapstick. And that is really it. So whenever I'm going to, like I, I think I used this when we went to Disneyland a while back. Um, Things that I, I need, I like, don't want to be carrying a lot of stuff around with me all day. Like the Rockies games that we've been going to, I'll use this. Anything where I just don't want to have like a huge bag carrying around. So this has been great, something small. I think it, it kind of resembles like a fanny pack. They're kind of in a little bit right now. I don't know. I don't have a fanny pack and it's, it's not a fanny pack, but it's along those lines of like a dainty little black bag. So love this, Lululemon can't remember the name of it, but I have seen very similar ones at Lulu recently. So you could probably snag something very similar to this. Okay, so I just have a few more things like clothing wise that I wanna show you guys and they're all shoes. So I'm gonna go over my favorite shoes that I have been wearing nonstop. Actually a couple of them I've recently gotten and I've been wearing the heck out of them. So I love them. First up, we've got these Adidas slides. These are pink. I have them in black and I have had them in black for like six months now. Wear them literally every day. Every time I'm leaving the house, I'm wearing them in black. So I ended up picking up a fun pair and I got a, this pink pair at the Nordstrom sale that was going on, the anniversary sale. And I snagged these for like 24 bucks. I think they were normally a lot more. They might've been normally like 36 or 38. So I saved a little bit on them, but I honestly would have paid that amount for them because I love them so much. I've been getting kind of a lot of wear out of them already. I wear these when I'm like going to a cycle bar class and I have my cleats with me, but I don't want to wear them to the studio. I'll throw these on and then change the studio into my cleats. Highly recommend. Secondly, another pair that I've recently gotten, and I, I don't know the name of these. I believe that they are the Nike Air Zoom um, Pegasus 38 or something like that. You can try and search that. I will try and link it below if I can. If I can't find it, I'm sorry. But I got these at the Nordstrom anniversary sale as well, and I love these. I've been wearing these like crazy. Every time I wear them, I get compliments on them. These are running shoes, and I've been trying to run more but I also just rock them out and about. Like I went to a lead instructor training thing at Cycle Bar the other day and I just wore these, got tons of compliments on them. They have this like weird point on the back, if you can see that, but 
overall they're so cute and at first I was kind of like oh I wish they didn't have this like weird point but it's grown on me and I actually I really like it they're so comfy it feels like you're walking on clouds I've I've been wearing shoes that don't have ties for so long so this is definitely something I've been getting used to again is tying my shoes but um so comfy so soft just literally feels like you're walking on a cloud and they were made for running. So if you're looking for a pair of running shoes, these are great too. Okay, the last pair of shoes that I wanna show you guys, I have a couple pairs of them and I wanna show you them in both colors. These have been my ride or die, wear them every single day that I'm coaching. This is what I wear to coach in. They're very, um, like I can just get around in them quick. They're lightweight, no ties. They don't come untied or anything like that. These are the Nike React Phantom. You can already see like a ton of wear on these shoes i obviously wear the white ones a lot more but i have them in black i have them in white i got these black ones for my birthday joey got them for me these ones i've had for like over a year now i think over a year and they have just gotten so much wear you can see how dirty they are i need to throw these in the wash the way i wash these is i just put like oxyclean all over them let them sit for a little bit and then i throw them in the wash put them out in the sun the sun kind of like helps bleach it a little bit and dries them out and then they're good as new i should have washed them before i showed you guys but i i didn't so um, I have them in white, I have them in black, and these are like my all-time favorite shoes, wear them all the time. Okay, we're gonna move on to more of like my skincare stuff that I've been doing, and um, I can't, I, I'm not an expert at skincare, so please do not take my word for fact or anything like that, that's just, this is just what I've been doing and what has been working for me and what I have just enjoyed using. So I just figured I would show you guys everything that I've been using. It's pretty simple, I don't have this crazy skincare routine, I just, have a moisturizer I use in the morning and a moisturizer I use at night and that is it um and by skincare routine like yeah it's, it's very minimal okay so the first thing I do when I'm in the shower I use this purity face wash I've been using this for probably like six or seven years this is all I use on my face to wash my face and then I use the Mia 2 like face scrubber in the shower so this is all I do for my face wash morning and night this is what I use and then when I get out of the shower depending on whether it's morning or evening so in the in the morning I will use I will put a little bit of the ordinary I have three things from the ordinary I use the caffeine solution I use hyaluronic acid and I use I don't know how to pronounce this one nice I don't know I and it's like zinc it's got zinc in it I, I have no idea how to pronounce this and I use the hyaluronic acid one so I put these on my face I put I put the caffeine solution underneath my eye the rest I just put a little bit of on my hands dab it and then pat it into my face everywhere and then after I put this on I will put on the Olay whip day cream it has a little bit of SPF 25 SPF in it and um, my skin just looks so dewy all day so healthy I just love how it looks I barely wear any makeup so this combo has worked extremely well for me and then at night I don't do any of that I just put on the Olay retinol 24 this is my nighttime this is my daytime and then on occasion I will use a facial toner just honestly I, I just feel like this is so much work pulling out a cotton pad and putting it on and rubbing on my face but I'll put this on first sometimes before these and then at night I use a Burt's Bees like moisturizing treatment over the night so that is pretty much all I use in the evening and then as far as hair goes you guys there's two things that I've been using that I feel like have made my hair like it's just it's just working for me so I've been using the tangle teaser you guys I just finished filming the whole video and then for some reason my camera stopped recording like halfway through so I'm gonna pick back up where I left off refilm it and uh, yeah if it doesn't quite line up or the lighting is different that is why <laughs> so I was I left off um, I was telling you guys about my skincare routine and then I started getting on to my hair really quick and my favorites for my hair so I was telling you about the tangle teaser I picked this up a few months back and I've been loving it. There's like hair in it, but my hair gets so bad. It is so fine and um, very thick. So it tangles so easy. And this thing has been a lifesaver. I wanted to, since I showed you guys like what I've been using on my face, I figured I would just quickly show you my like hair care, like everything that I do for my hair. It's really nothing crazy. I have two products that I use in the shower. I use the Pureology shampoo and then, oh, it's like busted open over here. And then I use the Pureology conditioner. I've been using these for like seven months. Honestly, I've been using them for so, so long. And I love them. I used to use whatever I could find on the shelves at like 
at, at the grocery store, which is horrible, and my hair was always breaking. But once I made the switch to these, my hair has been tremendously better. And then there's two products I use when I get out of the shower. I use the Diamond Oil Glow Dry from Redken, and then I use the It's a 10 I spray in my hair. And I feel like this is a really good oil. I, I honestly don't know like if hairdressers would recommend it or not. My hairdresser did recommend this to me, but this was years and years and years ago, so things might have changed a lot. But it's been working for me, so I've been using it. You can use this in your hair when it's wet out of the shower, or sometimes I will put it on my ends when my ends are just needing a little bit of hydration. So that is what I use. I hope everything before this like got shown. I don't know. And then the other thing that has changed the game for me for my hair is actually called the Blissy Silk Pillowcase. Let me show you guys this. <laughs> so here's the pillowcases, but Blissy, they actually did send me this, which I feel super lucky, but I did have one beforehand. So I already had one and they sent me another one. They didn't even know who I was the first time I bought one, but um, I, have, I have a pink pillowcase that I've been using for probably like six or seven months now, and it has helped my breakage I used to have like a ton of breakage down here around my neck and up around my face and this has helped me tremendously and then last week actually they sent me a black one and I got a king size so this is the black blissy king size pillowcase and I'm so excited to be using this I've been using it for a couple days now but it's the same thing that I've been using so I feel like I can use it in a favorites video I love this pillowcase if you guys are looking for one I will link it below just like everything else and I highly recommend it's great for minimizing wrinkles um, it it's cooling, it also is antibacterial, so there's, it's helped with my breakouts even, it's helped with hair breakage, it, yeah, it's just, it's just been an amazing pillowcase, I highly recommend it. Joey's like, oh, so you're gonna give me the black one right now since you have the other one? And I'm like, uh, maybe I'll think about it, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I have two of them, so he can totally use one if he wants, but I love, love, love this pillowcase and cannot recommend it enough. I am i don't really know what I did show you guys or what I haven't yet, so hopefully all is good. I'm gonna show you guys really quick this. So something kind of random, it doesn't really have its own category because it's just its like own thing, but the Bala, like, what do you call these? You basically take these weights and you can put them around your arm, you can put them around your feet, and you can work out with them hands-free. And the reason I love these, is because I'm a wedding photographer and it's wedding season right now and my arms right here, my forearms have been killing me because I'm constantly on my computer typing back to emails. I'm constantly on my computer like editing photos, doing all of that stuff and my arms right here have been hurting so bad. I'm trying to give them a break anytime I can. And at, at Orange Theory, we're grabbing weights, we're hanging on to them like tight grip and it's again just right here targeting that area. So I love these because when I'm at home working out, I can just strap them to my wrist, my hands are free, I'm not like gripping on anything super hard and hurting this like tendon or muscle or whatever, <laughs> whatever it's hurting down there, the like carpal tunnel situation. And so I have been loving these. I know a ton of people have talked about them. I think they're great, they're super cute. I think these were on Shark Tank. Love, love, love these and just keep them in my office for when I do my workouts in here and stuff like that. Okay, now we're moving into a new category. This category is all like food stuff or like supplements, protein powders, things like that. And there are a few things in this category that I was gifted and I have discount codes for. So I just wanna make it very clear that I'm talking about these things because I love them, not because I'm getting paid for it. Like I don't have to talk about these in my favorites video. I've already done the TikToks that they've paid me for. so. This is all because I actually like the product and I do have a couple discount codes for a few things and they'll be linked below. You guys obviously do not have to use my discount code, but if you do, you might get a little bit off. You might get like 10 or 15% off, which is great. But yeah, so I'm gonna kick off the like food side of things, which will be hopefully the last, I think the last little bit of stuff. So the first thing I wanna talk about is my Hydro Flask. I have this in orange. I got it from Whole Foods and I love it because it's cute and it gets me to drink a lot more water. The only complaint I have is I am constantly spilling on myself. Like I have to be not moving. If I'm riding a bike or if I'm running, I like am trying to drink and I'll spill it down myself. So I need to get a straw lid for this and I haven't yet. I love this. And when I'm coaching at Orange Theory, I'm so on brand with an orange water bottle. But if you're looking for this, it is a little bit pricey, but it has gotten me to drink a lot more water. So highly recommend. The next thing I wanna talk about is like a new favorite. 
In fact, I actually just picked it up like a couple days ago. I was walking around Target looking, just looking at things, you know, when you're walking around Target and if you don't have anything in mind, you kind of just end up picking things you don't necessarily need. This was one of them. So I purchased this egg bite maker. And if you've had the egg white bites from Starbucks, they're so good, like fluffy. It's just like the best breakfast. I don't know, I love them. And I ended up making these a couple times since I've gotten it. So since this is so recent, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit by throwing this in my favorites video, but I already know this is gonna be a favorites. And I'm currently washing a bunch of the pieces that go inside, so I can't show you the actual machine. But it um, shows you all the steps right here that you can do, but you can make egg bites, you can make egg white bites, you can make, it looks like dessert, you can make like a custard bite or cheesecake, but I'm mainly gonna make it for the egg bites. And um, you can make four at a time, it was $17, and I put turkey bacon in mine, and it is so good. I'm gonna make some with ham and like, some veggies of some sort just chop up and throw them in and this is going to be a great source of protein really good really tasty it's going to save me a lot of money i won't be buying the egg white bites at like costco or starbucks anymore i'll be making them myself at home so if you're looking for something like this target you can find it there 17 dollars or 18 dollars, something like that but it's so cute it's like the tiniest little machine you lift the lid pour some water in put your eggs in and then it just like boils them it takes like eight to ten minutes or so and they're so good. You can also freeze them, I believe, and they taste just as good when you pull them out and heat them back up. So great option, especially for like meal prepping and stuff like that. Highly recommend this. The next thing I wanna talk about is by no means healthy. So I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a nutritionist, so please do not take my advice as like fact. I'm just saying what I've been eating, what I've been using, and I've been using these for Chobani flip cups. I eat these all the time, I love these. This is like a great way for me to kill my craving, my sweet tooth or whatever, and I'll have one of these for like a dessert or whatever. If I'm craving chocolate, it's this. Chobani flip cup, you just like take the lid off, flip it in, it'll dump in like all the little like s'more sprinkles. Or the Oreo, I've got some key lime pie down below. Like when I say down below, I mean in my kitchen, I'm upstairs, but um, in my refrigerator, I've got a bunch of flavors and I love these. You can get them at Target again. I got these ones at Sam's Club and I got them in a big pack, so I have a ton of them and I've just been loving these, <laughs> so I'm throwing it in here. <laughs> Another summer favorite are the Olipops. I know you guys have probably heard a ton about these, but the Olipop in the strawberry vanilla is my favorite flavor. I picked these up at King Supers. They're kind of expensive. They're like 250 a bottle, but they have a good source of uh, like prebiotics, plant fiber, just like a bunch of good stuff, and it's a great replacement for like soda pop in here, and I've been drinking these all summer long. They're my favorite. And the strawberry vanilla has been by far the flavor I go to. It's my favorite and I can't say enough about this. So highly recommend these. If you haven't tried one, you gotta just try one. Just try one or maybe don't because then you might be hooked. <laughs> okay, the next three things I wanna talk about are things that were gifted to me. I just feel like I need to be upfront about that. And um, I have discount codes below that you can use for all three of these things. The first thing is the bomb butter. I used my last blender bombs the other day, so I don't have any more to show you, but the blender bombs are so good. It's a great thing, like when you're making smoothies or an acai bowl, just pop it in. It gives it some extra like nuts, some um, stuff that's gonna like hold you over, keep you fuller longer. This bomb butter is a great way to add like some sweetness. It's mainly like honey and some nuts in here. Um, this one has, yeah, I'm, I'm not totally sure. I think this one has like cashews and flaxseed and raw honey. In it so it's very good it's got a little bit of vanilla extract sea salt but this just adds a little bit of sweetness to my smoothies and then that blender bomb is like just the right amount of like thickness or it's gonna keep me full for a longer period of time than just like fruit and vegetables would so I highly recommend you guys if you're big into smoothies you can check out the link below the only complaint I have about this stuff is the shipping is kind of expensive but the actual product is 100% worth it. Linked below, use my discount code, will save you a little bit of cash money, so use that. The next item is the Go Macro peanut butter chocolate bars. And these are my these are my favorite flavors. Go Macro, I'm super fortunate. Go Macro has sent me two or three boxes this month of these, and there's like 16 bars in each one, so I am set forever. <laughs> And they send me they send me a couple each month, which is great. But this is by far my favorite flavor, the double chocolate peanut butter chip. Go macro bar. So this is very this bar is very high in protein. It adds great source of protein in the morning. And I will grab one of these, take it out the door when I'm running to go teach and I don't have time to eat something in the morning when I'm teaching those like super early five, six, and seven a.m. classes. 
this is what I gravitate towards. And I will say the double chocolate, um, or the, yeah, double chocolate peanut butter chip tastes like a brownie to me. It is so good, you guys. And it's a great way for me to kill my sweet tooth. This does have a lot of sugar in it. I will say that this one has, yeah, this has 14 grams of sugar. So it's very high in sugar, but it's also got 12 grams of protein, which is a pretty decent amount of protein. These are just so, so good. And I have tons of them that I, that I have to go through. So I'm very fortunate. Joey eats these too. He likes, he likes them too. Highly recommend. You can get a whole box linked below. Um, you can also, you don't have to use my code. You can just go buy them from their website if you don't want to use my code. But if you do, I appreciate it. Okay, the last thing I wanna talk about is the RSP Nutrition. I've got their protein powder and I also have their Amino Lean. So their Amino Lean is kinda of like a pre-workout. Gives me a lot of energy before I teach. I am not like a huge pre-workout person. Um, I don't need a whole lot of caffeine. In fact, I really don't need caffeine to have energy. But I will say when I've used this, I use this like Friday morning. And I could tell the difference when I was teaching class. I had just so much energy, felt the difference. This isn't something I take every day because I don't need it, but on occasion when I'm feeling really tired, I'll take this when I need a little bit of pep in my step for my classes. I have their acai flavor and I have their pineapple coconut and both of them are really good. I like them, like I said, um, if you like those flavors, you might like them too. You can find it linked below if you need, if you need like, a little discount code. The other thing from RSP Nutrition that I have been eating a ton is their protein powder. So I have chocolate, I have vanilla. I've been using their vanilla powder in my in my acai bowls and I love them. I think they're, I, my acai bowls are so good, you guys. So I'm gonna have to show you that recipe in one of these videos going forward. Once our kitchen is done, maybe I'll do like a bunch of recipes in a video. I think that would be really fun. Like healthier alternatives or like just at home acai bowls, you can save some money. But um, I add this. I think this would also be really good because my acai bowls, I can make chocolate peanut butter ones and they're so good with a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of peanut butter, um, PB Fit. Some of that powder peanut butter is really good too. But highly recommend, again, linked below. You can get a little bit of a discount. You can also find these at like King Supers. I think Fred Meyers is the same as King Supers and Smith's. So might be able to find this there. If you go to your, if you go to the RSP website, they have a map that shows you where all of their closest stores that carry their R RSP products. So you can find that there. But yeah, I think that is all of my favorites, you guys. Hopefully I didn't miss anything with my camera like cutting out halfway through. Oh, one more thing that I wanted to talk about. So I'm wearing them right now. I've got my jewelry on. This is my staple jewelry that I have been loving all summer long. I've got my earrings and I've got my necklace. So this necklace is from Nordstrom. It's got little stars on it and I get compliments on it all the time. I will say though, I've been wearing this for probably four or five months straight. Every single day, I shower with it, I sleep with it, um, I swim with it, everything. The gold has kind of started to wear off and it's silver underneath, but it doesn't bother me because I don't mind the silver either. And then these are from Etsy. So they're just like a cute little double chain earring and I get a lot of compliments on them. People ask me where I got them from. These, the shop has closed, so I can't give you the exact link but I'll give you a link to something similar below that you can get your own. Thank you guys so, so much. If you've made it this far, make sure you subscribe and like this video below. And I appreciate you so much. Hopefully you found something in this video that you find as your new favorite. If you find something in this video that is now a favorite of yours, let me know below, give it a comment, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.